Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you two ways to embed your Padlet wall into a Google site. This is an update to a video I made a couple of years ago on the same topic. So here I am in my Padlet homepage, and I want to embed my Padlet that's called Map of Interesting Places. So the thing that I need to do is go to the upper right corner and select Share. And down here, we're going to select Embed in your blog or website. But before I do that, it's important to note that in my privacy, if it's marked as private, no one will be able to see it when I embed it. So you need to make it secret or public, and then you can change your visitor permissions from there as well. So you want to make it secret or public before you embed it. Then embed in your blog or website. And you can copy this code here. Then go to your Google site where you want to embed it and select embed and choose embed code, paste it in, hit next. It's going to give you a preview and insert it. And you can click and drag to adjust the size on the page. Now the other option, I'm going to delete this one here. The other option for embedding it's you just copy this link down here, the one that says embedding on a WordPress site. Just copy that. Even though it says WordPress site, it will work in Google Sites as well. Copy that link. Go back to your Google site and select embed. And this time choose by URL. And that will give you two options here. You can embed your whole page and it will automatically update the display when the Padlet wall gets updated, or you can use a static preview, in which case people will have to click through in order to see the actual updated version of your Padlet wall. So I'm going to use whole page and insert it. And again, I can click and drag to reposition and resize the display on my page. So that's how you can embed Padlet walls into Google Sites. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.